really got up now. We're uh, well and truly up on the bend now. We're, uh, if you look down there, that's the lake I was talking about. It's frozen over down on the plateau. We've been going about just over an hour and a half now. And it's really starting to get cold, so we've uh, got the coats out, got the gloves out. There's snow underfoot. Just gonna have to dig in and push to the top. It is an absolutely stunning place though. Let's have a look around us. We can see for about 30 miles in all directions. You can see the cloud hanging down on the valleys there. We're above that now and you can see the sun it's starting to break through the clouds. So uh, hopefully we're gonna get a good view from the top. A bit more of this mountain scenery would be pretty fantastic to be honest. Let's have a look at that behind me. Now you don't get that at home, do you? As we pushed on, higher and higher up the bend, the ice became steeper and steeper. The cloud dropped down over the summit and the weather began to close in. Before we knew it, we found ourselves on steep, dangerous ground. Not a place you want to be in bad weather. <laughs> right, we're about two and a half hours in now, and uh, the inevitable has happened. Um, with the snow and with the strange light conditions caused by this, this very watery sunlight bouncing off the snow, we have lost the path. Uh, it's not a problem because obviously Ben Nevis is the highest point around, so all we have to do is keep heading upwards until we can't head upwards anymore. The one problem we have found is that we are on quite a steep ice slope, as you can see. Now it's not a problem because we have got crampons on, well micro spikes anyway, but the one danger we do have here, well the two dangers that we do have here is number one, if we were to slip, because this ice is now, as you can see, it's a lot firmer underfoot there, it's going to be very, very difficult to dig our crampons in to stop ourselves sliding down. So if we do slip, we could end up a little bit lower and a little bit faster down the mountain than we first hoped. Um, and secondly, this snow does seem quite consolidated, but there's always a risk of avalanche, especially on a wide open slope like this. So as you can see over to our left there, we've got a lot of rocks. So we want to be heading over there to get out of this danger zone because if you get caught with an avalanche, even a small one up here is going to carry you right down the mountainside. And although it seems as if there's no rocks or anything down there, underneath the snow there's a lot of sharp boulders that you don't really want to be catching your head on. So uh, it's definitely worth watching out for when you're walking in the winter. For these wide open slopes, best to avoid them. We had managed to find our way out of avalanche territory, but as is always the way in the mountains, danger was never far away. All right, we've got to be very, very careful now because over to our left is the north face. Now, anyone who knows anything about Ben Nevis knows that the north face is a pretty vertical, three and a half thousand foot wall of rock which you do not want to be falling down. And the problem at this time of year is you cannot see where the edge of it is. And quite often you get cornices, which are deposits of snow, which build up right on the edge of ridges and on the edge of, of faces. And basically they're just overhanging lips of snow. So if you end up treading on them, you're essentially walking over thin air. So uh, very, very dangerous. So we're staying well back from the edge to make sure that we don't end up three and a half thousand foot down the side of a mountain pretty damn quickly. With the constant threat of the sheer cliffs just metres away and visibility down to almost zero, progress slowed to a crawl. With the summit so close, the temptation is to relax, but one mistake here could be fatal. Right, well we've made it to the 
top. Um, a few slip trips and falls on the way up. Um, complete whiteout conditions, as you can see. It's uh, the weather's really closed in up here. If you take a look just behind you, just there. This is actually the trade point of Ben Nevis. Now this normally stands on top of a plinth that's about eight feet tall. And if you have a look down here, that's how deep the snow is. You're probably looking at about five feet of snow up here. And that's really, really compacted. So it's, uh, it's safe to walk on, but it shows that they've had an awful lot of snow up here this year. Take a look at this. All this fluting on the side here makes it look like little feathers where the wind's blown it in a pattern there, which is absolutely beautiful. I would show you the view, but obviously it's uh, pretty minimal. We've got, uh, we've got the mountain hut up there, where people can take shelter from this bad, bad weather. We've got another couple of climbers there, um, just doing a bit of a sunny photo. Uh, but there you are, it's proof enough that we've done the first one. But uh, navigating our way down in this white out conditions is going to take some time. The target for this mountain is six hours as a maximum, so it gives us two and a half hours to get down. It's going to be tough because obviously the weather's really, really closed in, and for about 500 feet down, it's really, really, really white out, and, and you can't see a thing. So it's going to be slow at first. But once we get below the cloud, we can start really going for it. <laughs> 